Carl Rowe wanted me to buy this ranch, distance myself from my years at Yale and Harvard, make me more of a man of the people for the election. Smart. <clears throat> so we gonna do this thing or what? I mean, is this happening? We uh, have found some very interesting uh, candidates. Um, if we could schedule a uh, three hour window to. Uh, oh. I mean, through. you, I want you to be my VP. You're the solution to my problem. Uh, I'm CEO of a large company. I have been uh, Secretary of Defense. I have been the Chief of Staff. Uh, the Vice Presidency is mostly a uh, symbolic job. Right, right. I can see how that wouldn't be uh, enticing to you. However, the vice presidency is also defined by the president. And if we were to come to a uh, different understanding. Uh huh. Go on. I'm listening. I sense that uh, you're a kinetic leader. You make decisions based on instinct. I am. Mm. People always said that. Yeah, yeah. Very different. Very different from uh, from your father in that regard. Now, maybe I can uh, handle some of the more mundane jobs, overseeing uh, bureaucracy, managing military uh, energy, uh, foreign policy. That sounds good. Never want to be the kind of team owner that uh, posts the starter in the, in the fourth inning. Mm. That's the manager's job. One more thing. My daughter, Mary. Right, Rob, tell me she likes girls. Now, I know you have to uh, run against uh, gay marriage in the South, Midwest, and... Uh, <clears throat> But it's my daughter, and that line is drawn in concrete. Don't you say another word. So long as you don't mind us pushing that messaging, we're okay with you sitting that one out. I think it's important for all the, all the Marys in the world, you know. No problemo. We got a deal? And I believe this can work. <laughs> Hot damn. Yeah. Well, good. Hey. Let's celebrate. Me and Laura, Texas.